All right, boys, welcome back to the vlog. This one, this one's bittersweet, huh, Trev? Well, it's kind of exciting. It's, it's, it's kind of official. Like, after today, this is, I don't want the truck anymore. It's your truck after this. Like, when you first got here, you're like, kind of, you're like, oh, like, I'm sad about my truck. Now, as we go on, like, yeah. more things start happening to the dually. We got the wheels, which only Patreon right now knows about that. I'm going to show you guys the wheels at the very end, and I'm kind of teasing myself as well, because how good are the wheels? They're too good. They are too good. They're forged. We got the sickest tires for the truck, and it's sick. Yeah. I'm no, good. like the deal couldn't have been like a better thing. The dude literally yeah. waited six months on order to have like the custom. They're they're just sick. Yeah. You, guys, you guys gotta wait. Yeah, definitely uh, stay tuned for sure. But yeah, so it, it's kind of it's kind of a bittersweet because it's like we're almost done with this thing, but the work has just begun for me. Because now <laughs> I gotta start working on fixing this thing. We gotta get the engine like fixed up, all yep. that stuff ready to go. And, and you guys already know Trevor's Mr. Perfect. So he's talking to Josh, and there's like, hey, can you fix this bed? Can you fix all of this? I'm thinking about paint matching the grill and stuff. So, actually, we're taking this grill off and putting it on my truck. The it's one, the bumper. yeah, because the other grill is black, so you want to paint match it to the car. Yeah, I found an OEM bumper that's the black for this. Yeah. So we'll just do paint match grill and paint match bumper, which like I think adds some spice to yeah. it. Yeah. I'm honestly intrigued to see how it looks with silver. I think with white, it looks really good, as you can see the Trevor's giveaway car, which you can go down in the description below and you mm -hmm. can um get some entries. Uh, tools in random orders too. Oh, we're actually going to film that right now. So we're going to be buying a thousand dollars worth of tools and. And then every single day, what, you're going to be picking someone and you're going to be sending some things out. In this video right now, if you're ordering anything from OceanAutoTV.com, you may get a nice Milwaukee ratchet or something like that. Before the 28th. Before the 28th. So, and we're doing 20 times entries in Milwaukee tools in random orders. And so uh, it's, it's a cool promo. You know, it's, it, it is weird. Last time you were, you were like, oh, not only are you giving away the truck, you have to give them tools too. And I'm like, you know, it just... <laughs> Trevor's in this weird, this weird game. He's in a weird game he's playing, but support Trevor because this dude has been helping me this whole month and I, I'm nothing but thankful for that. But anyways, we're bringing the truck inside right now. We're going to start taking the cab off. We're taking the engine out. Today's the day, so let's do it. All right, guys, my life, you know, like always, it's in shambles, huh? Life is in shambles. Honestly, we just got back from getting all these tools. I'm an idiot. I ended up spending some money because there were some sick deals. I got this whole thing for 200 bucks. It comes with two M18 batteries. My drill blew up. I already needed one. I had one of these, but it came with an extra battery. I didn't have one of these, and I didn't have one of those. This one was only 100 bucks, so I ended up getting this. So now I have two batteries. <laughs> or now I have two well, drills. Now you have M12 and a M18 batteries. Yeah. And some extra stuff. It never hurts to have extra. Realistically, for 300 bucks for all this, I thought it was a no-brainer. But... I just got to the shop. I was ready to help Eric work. And then Ty actually texted me. He's like, yo, come to a day to remember tonight. And I'm like, what, dude, where? And he's like, at Red Rock. And I look up Red Rock, and it's two hours away. And I would have to leave right now. Do you think I should go? It's up to you. I really I mean, want to. I really want to. Eric's a gangster. He'll get that taken care of. Would you hate me, Eric? Oh, no. We don't, e we don't even need you around here. You can oh just my leave. God. Just Show up in like wow. in three days, your truck will just, actually show up tomorrow. Truck will be done. <laughs> yeah, that would be insane. I go to a concert, come back, the truck's done. I'd actually be kind of upset because I do want to be a part of it. No, I mean, I, I think like we were driving up in Denver the other day when we were doing the side-by-side -side thing and I was like, oh, Red Rocks is right here. You should see if there's anything sick. And you I didn't see anything. You should go while you're here because this is sick. Yeah, and, then, and yeah. here it is. And I told Ty that I wanted to like hang out with him and stuff because I haven't seen him in years. So I was like, I should just go. I should just great, go. You got a great set of wheels to get up there too. So yeah, right. check it out. Have, check it out. This is the FDRX7, right? Dang, yeah. The yeah. Blah by Torty. So this is like my mom's like spare family car. So like when my brother's truck, he was putting the transmission in it because it's a freaking 68 RP. You know, and he's done it a couple times. So like he drive this, drove this for a little bit. We were messing with the BMW. His girlfriend drove it for a little bit. If I ever needed it, here So it you're is. telling me this is gonna make it? This is gonna be yours for the next like day or so until your truck is done. Trevor thinks we're gonna get the truck done in literally a day and a half. We'll see, but I, I need to actually make a move and I need to make sure I have a charger and everything. It's a two hour drive and it's already 428 and the first band is at 630. Matt doesn't want to come with me. I guess he doesn't really care for concerts. So I'm just gonna solo dolo this one. Hey Eric, I appreciate you, man. Hey man no I'm problem. sorry. No problem, man. You, you're yeah, okay. You enjoy yourself. I feel, I feel like we've done nothing but work here. Yeah, you know, yeah. every time I come here, we net we me and Trev always are like, yo, we're gonna do this. This is gonna be sick. We never do anything but slave. 
Fun. Yeah. I mean, fun. I have fun hanging out here, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go. <laughs> you're you, leaving? Yeah, I'm gonna go. What am I doing? You didn't want to come, so you're gonna edit some ads for Trev. It's fine. <laughs> I can't believe this dude had to fucking sit and edit and go fucking watch Dude, oh, remember. All right, I gotta go. Oh, look at that thing, dude. How's it going, buddy? Just saying hi. I bet you that dude's not even driving the car right now. Maybe one day, haters gonna hate. That fucking tortoise. The tortoise is fucking ripping, dude. Fucking floor this bitch, dude. <laughs> oh man, it's like shaking and stuff. The brakes are not good on this unit, but we're going 90. We're kind of going the speed of traffic here. It's kind of crazy, to be honest. You wouldn't be getting this in Connecticut if I was going 90. Everyone would be looking at me like I'm a fucking asshole. But I'm barely keeping up with these guys. Look at this. We're gonna be 30 minutes late. The first band is a story so far. Honestly, I, I haven't listened to them too much. I'm really there for the day to remember. But um, either way, it's gonna be a good time. Dang, this is a cool little town. There's cops everywhere though. <laughs> Fuck, people be getting pulled over left and right. I don't know if it's because of the concert or what, but Jesus Christ. I like the town though. I'm liking the vibes. I'm liking the mountains. This is sick, dude. I'm real excited for this. So when I go to things like this, and like there's a lot of people, for some reason I just have to look behind the scenes of this, like the analytics. So I looked up how much it costs to rent Red Rock um, for a concert, which it's $100,000 for the concert, which honestly isn't too bad considering it can hold 9,500 people in the stands. And so my concert ticket was 130 bucks, and that's just literally general admission. So my theory is everyone paid a minimum of $100. And 9,500 times 100, 950,000. That's what this, if it, obviously, hypothetically, if it sold out, that is the minimum this concert can make. But I saw like the front row seats and stuff. Those were going for about $1,200, which I mean, who knows? I bet you this concert probably made gross, gross amount with the amount of people I see here. I bet you probably 1.5 mil, I would say. And then obviously you have to take away how much it costs to be here, all of the plane tickets it costs them to get here, like all of that stuff, your team, all of that. But still, sick money for one concert. Super cool. I have been stuck in this line for literally probably 25 minutes. <laughs> I'm such a freak. I'm sitting here like counting cars and shit, counting people, doing all that stuff, and like just seeing how much. I'm a, I'm like a freak when it comes to that stuff because it's just interesting, you know. I I think it's cool. Like behind, the, if I can just like see behind the scenes of people's businesses and stuff, like that would be sick. Like that is probably the coolest job if that is a job there is because numbers are cool you know like the the possibilities in life is literally endless like you can do anything you want and like everything's just a numbers game and it's it's cool so there's my rant i'm finally parking now which is sick this is freaking wild i'm already out of breath dude I'm trying to speed walk up this. Look, I'm such a butter. I'm tracking my freaking calories while walking to a concert. Holy shit, dude. I got the gnarliest shin burn right now. It's insane. I don't even, I've never been here. I honestly don't know where the fuck I'm going. Just chugged a tall boy truly before walking up this hill. So <laughs> I feel great. This shit is absolute madness right now. We've done half a mile. We got some good space. I ain't gonna run fucking with Kai's, dude. Fuck that. I don't know how much more we got, but I can hear the crowd roaring. Look at all these cars, though. This is insane. Like, they started playing over an hour ago. Not a day to remember, just bands in general. Look at all the fucking cars. Like, it still is going all the way back. I don't know if there's any enough parking for this. We're getting closer. You can see the people kind of. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see some right there. We're getting close. You hear the music and everything. Fuck. Dedicated to fitness. We ain't taking it. We ain't taking it. All right, so the show just ended. Dude, how much of a shit show is this going to be? Don't even think about it. <laughs> Look at all it's these. Piss you off. <laughs> it's almost funny, though. I am laughing about it. Just know that it is going to be a shit show. Dude, I can't even. I had to walk a mile to get to where I am right now, and there's cars literally everywhere through that whole road, dude. I don't know. I think I'm just going to wait. Well, We're just going to take our dance. You think they're going to play another song? I think so. You think so? No way everyone's standing here right now. 
I don't it's know, happen. dude. It's gonna happen. People are screaming. No. No. No, they're coming back, dude. That's fire. Wow. You're right. They might play a couple You're songs. You're right. That's so All sick. Right, <laughs> you were right, dude. Holy shit. Wild dude, here's the chaos. Here's the chaos. This is wild. I gotta walk so far, dude. Where those cars are up there, I gotta get all the way up there. I'm never getting out of here. I'm honestly kind of lost. All right, boys. Well, you can see we're officially back at the shop. The concert, it was freaking awesome. To be honest, I half wanted to go to hang out with Ty. I half wanted to go to see the concert. Haven't seen Ty in like two years. And it was really cool catching up with him and everything. And his girlfriend's actually a tattoo artist. And um, I might be getting a tattoo from her before I leave Colorado. But we'll see. We're super busy. They're a few hours out. But I would love to get some more ink. Never got one in Colorado, so that'd be cool. Anyways, back to shop stuff. Back to truck stuff. You can see that the frame is out. We've been pressure washing it today, making sure it is all clean and stuff just so when it goes back in. Um, what the fuck, buddy? Yo, I need one of those flexies, dude. One of those like clamps for the exhausts. There's a big old crack in her. You see this crack though? You'll get that. Yeah, that's weird though. How does they, how do they crack? Cause there's no flex pipe. Is there a flex pipe in these? No. I thought every exhaust should have a flex, a flexi. Is that a myth or? You could. Okay. What are you, what are you looking at? Sue me. Wait, whoa, whoa, buddy. You got some energy. Sue me. What are you, fucking Eminem now? I will say this. My frame is more rusty than the new frame. We weren't even, we wasn't going to say anything, but. First thing Trevor said when he looked at your truck was, damn, this thing's rusty. <laughs> it's not, it's not rotted, though. It's got a lot of, we're about to find out, actually. Let's raise the cab and let's see how rusty my truck really is. It's nice, huh? What is this? Well, that's just your truck. <laughs> that's, your, that's your truck right there. Wait, can we go over here now? <laughs> oh, hey, what's this? That's my truck. <laughs> <laughs> what a shit show, dude. This is crazy. I don't know what we got ourselves into. We do this. We you know, like this, it's definitely cool. Like, it's it's, def it's no, we've been having fun. We're not complaining. It's a, it's a but cool it's project. just a little ridiculous. Well, and then we got started late. It's kind of weird. Like, it's like gloomy outside like Rudna got here late like I've been kind of chilling a little bit yeah let's be honest Trev and I were just kind of in chill mode today it's not good it's not good we it's not good stuff to do we have way too much stuff to try we're talking about white river rap yeah you want to do that tonight though that, that might not be bad he's got a friend that gets out at four that will take us for free that's a no-brainer right I don't know if he's gonna do it Oh, he said we gotta buy him like dinner and stuff. That's fine, I'll buy him a fucking nice red lobster, dude. It's rusty truck. It's not that bad. Rusty. It's really not that bad. We'll Look at see. This bed. Yeah, the, the bed's a little rough. The bed, it, all, all that was fucking stupid shit. The wheel blowing up happened over there. Then the gas line fucking flew off my auxiliary tank and pinched over there. It was all dumb shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Whoa, that sounded, that felt like it got separated, huh? Yeah, you're good. All right, dude, take five. This is it, huh? This is it. This is it, we're going up? How we looking? Good. Oh. What the fuck, dude? I think the coolant hose just got stuck on the fan shroud or something. Jesus Christ, this is a nightmare, dude. How many times has this thing pissed cooling onto the ground? Too many. Too many. Ready? Yeah. Don't try this at home. I know, so much bullshit. Like, kind of, just in like weird ways. Like, I've never seen like, to run like a subwoofer cable. Like, you always just go through the grommet and down the side. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just how you do it. And then they ran underneath, in the frame, like... I don't know. Well, the, I don't think they were ever planning on pulling the cab, clearly. Well, that's their problem. There's just layers. It's like they just did... <laughs> yeah, like, unlimited. Just tape. There's just like 30 layers of tape. How thick is this wire, dude? Well, it's not that. It's, I know, but I'm saying like... It's like sheathing and then another thing is sheathing. And then literally, it's like they... Look at how many... It's They used a whole roll of tape, black tape right there in that one section. Hell yeah. Was it a it's not even that like 
go to a wire. Like, no, it's like, a Walmart wire. Round six. We made it, boys. No going back now. My F-250 is fucked. It's, the, it's Trevor's F-250 is now fucked. This is official. I'll give you the title today. Where's my title? It's coming. Whoa, whoa. What do you mean it's coming? It's on the way. Wait, you don't have the title, Trev? Wait a minute. Stop. I brought my title clean. Where's mine? Um, we don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> you serious? What? You serious? No, I texted the guy today. Wait, <laughs> the guy has. Wait. wait, do you own the truck, bro? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Remember that thing about the bus? What bus? How you throw people under the bus <laughs> for entertainment purposes? It's funny though. That's it. That's what, see. That's the whole reason why we're putting your engine in that. <laughs> oh, are we gonna take the Vins off this too? Could let's just swap the cab. People did say that in the comments. They said it would have been easier than everything else because the. Because the frames are totally the same length, you know? Yeah, they're, yeah. Yeah, every... And a short bed. Yeah. Perfect, <laughs> like, length. just switch cabs. What are we thinking, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, mine looks like it's leaking anywhere, which is good. That makes me feel good. Honestly, I'd rather not have to tear into this thing if I didn't have to, you know? Yeah, no, this engine actually looks really clean. I'm really proud of myself with all the maintenance I've done over the years. You've been a great owner. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, she's still alive, dude. And let's talk about the cab. It's not too rusty. It's all surface. What did I say? Oh, because I was looking at the cab when I said that. Yeah, the cab is a little. Oh, how you done? The drive shaft's a little. <laughs> oh, look at your cab mounts. Those are mint, right? Well, I think uh, we're going to have to order some cab mounts now, too. What the fuck are these for? Those are to keep the, the water out of the... Gotcha. I actually, I don't even know what those are. Gotcha. What is that, dude? Just a dirty napkin, dude. All right, so I guess I'm... Am I getting this engine out right now? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, hurry up. I'm honestly... I just want to take the engine out because I want to use my new Milwaukee tools because my butt hurt. Look at this thing. This thing's a unit, dude. Hey, uh, don't do this. Don't do this at home. Is it worth it, Eric? Yes. Oh, it is? <laughs> <laughs> I've sprayed it. That really hurt. I punched the transmission, dude. That sucks. Let's, let's think about this. Let's get a nice big breaker bar, you know? Do that. We'll get a different thing on the back. But trans bolts are out. The starter's out. We just got to get the exhaust disconnected from the turbo. Gas lines are unhooked. What else do we have to do? We have to take the clutch or the, yep, the clutch fan off so we can get to those bolts. Mm -hmm. um, so we can spin the crank pulley. Is there anything else, really? Oh, pretty much it. You got those Man. lines off. Once the you cab's got, off, gotta, it's pretty easy. You got to answer the big question. What's that? Is your fuel system safe? Let's figure that out when it's off. Is it safe? Uh, honestly, I forgot about that question. Now I'm scared. Now that was the main thing. You were gonna do it. You were gonna try to do it in the cab, and I, I I'm glad you didn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad, glad I didn't either. Me true. and Eric got a lot of work done that day because we didn't do that. Yeah, I think we just need to pull this back. This guy. The sensor on the back of that guy. Just look at it. Just see. And if you think if there's no metal in there, we're fucking golden. You know, I hope. I hope that's the case. No, like if there's no metal, are we guaranteed safe or? Uh, I mean, nothing. Nothing's guaranteed. I would say it'd be okay to uh, continue. Why? How? What are we leaking down there? Where did that? Where did that oil come from? The torque converter? No, that that looks black. Yeah, so, from so, where though? Rear main. Oh, you think it's leaking that bad? Who knows? It could be. Nah, don't say shit like that, dude. Come on. Your rear main. How does this leak? Like, what makes this leak? Hills and shit? Oh, just the tranny getting hot, and that's like, uh, like vapor. It's like the overflow, right? It's like vapor. It, let, let's call it uh, hot transmission mist that comes out of that, and then you just get a little dust on if it. If that's the case, there was a lot of mist that came out of this motherfucker. Because there's a lot of shit it's right here. Bad. You don't think so? No. I mean, it's your tranny now, so. It's your made, tranny now. Made it here. Huh? Made it here. We're keeping this transmission in here because this is obviously a stick shift for the four wheel drive and stuff. The other one's in auto. You just flip it. Mm -hmm. So what? That means there's like vacuum lines running to the front hubs and shit. It's electronic, yeah. But yeah, there's vacuum lines running to the front. That's kind of cool. I guess, mm -hmm. but it's kind it's kind of cool and not because there's just another thing to break. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I guess if they just work, they just work. You know, they usually just work. So I'll start figuring out that. You want to get this off real quick? It's pretty easy. I already heated up and shit. It's almost off, right, Eric? What is it? Is that bolt? Yeah. Oh, I, I think yeah, I, I, I loosened it. I think it, it needs to cut. I, 
I mean, like, it's yours. It, I don't care. It looks like it needs to cut. I'll fucking cut the fuck out of her, buddy. I just got that Sawzall that I got from fucking Milwaukee Depot. Mm -hmm. Give me around there. I fucking Look got this. away with murder on this one, you fuck yeah. <laughs> it's a fair trade. Something, the title card for nothing. Yep. Title, no title. It's fine. <laughs> so, just to clarify, I actually, I, I know the whole deal with the whole title situation. It's just funny pushing his button. Because then, <laughs> then he's going to be like, he, he thinks everyone's going to attack him in the comments. And I'm just joking around. The title's under control. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get this engine out. Well, Eric, it looks like we did it once again, huh? Once again. Once again, we did it. We're almost like Ford technicians now, you know? Would you be a Ford technician? I don't know. <laughs> That's a no. That's a hard no. This is a shit show, dude. <laughs> you can't really go back. The trans is right here. Wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> Leaking for the 10th time. This isn't a shit show or anything. What was that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So Trev made a thing. Matt's been talking shit about it the whole time he's been standing on the hoist. Yeah, it looks a little sketchy. 1170 pounds. You think this is okay? It's picking up very skilled. Well, right. Yeah, Matt literally has to stand on that or this whole thing is gonna like flip over. Look at the arm, dude. It's <laughs> you know, it's really bad. Dude, this thing is a behemoth, bro. This, is this thing's huge. I don't know, man. This is bad. Let him lower. Let him lower. Holy. F oh, oh, buddy. That's not tight. No, it's fine. Oh. Dude, the coolant is insane. Dude. The, <laughs> the coolant's insane. Yeah, just keep looking. Everybody just look at it. Dude, this is nuts. Tilt it this way so we didn't get rid of it. That's a nice way of turning that thing now. This doesn't look right. It's working. It's working. <laughs> He's over here telling me, oh, you're, are you an engineer? You don't have to be like an engineer to do something like that. That's Trevi's Customs right That's now. Trevi's Customs. Right, Fuck you, Matt. You got the engineer title. You earned it. Look at that. Like you're that. engineer, man. That's, that's not bad. We got some braces. We got some plate. Would you comfortably stick your hand between there right now? Yeah, I'll stick my head in between there. No, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. Oh, my God. I think it's good. For now. I think it's good. You're it's not even creaking. Dumb. I mean, what are the chance? What are the odds of it actually breaking, you know? Something. Not much. Oh, wow. What's the odds of 1,100 wow. pounds falling on my seat? I trust Trevi Customs. 1,100 Yo, pounds. Yo, we're doing great. I love that shirt, dude. <laughs> Don't break it. Did you break it? Yeah. Why are you breaking what those? What are we gonna do? You have to you twist have them off, buddy. Clip that's made it we just gotta twist them. This miles. looks insane. Heating up to like, holy hot, cold, cow! Hot, cold, hot, cold all day, and then you you expect it to just come off of there nice. When they're just little Christmas tree clips. And this looks put, crazy. Put new ones in there. All right, you ready for the moment of truth? So you think this is where we're gonna see some metal shavings if we were? We're just gonna see some stuff. This is this is the easiest test. So obviously the best test is that fitting like with the little screen right by the um, CP4 high pressure pump. fuel pump. But like right here, this is one where you can pull the fender liner in your truck and look right there and see what that looks like. And yeah. even with the engine out, this one's still easier than the other one. Yeah. Yeah. I like those. I've never even used those. Oh, they're cool. Yeah, because you like you can stick it on there and, they and then it tightens them. Yeah. Really? It in instead of it being, it just like locks it down and almost makes it kind of like. A yeah, and sometimes these get stuck when you use them. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Yeah, let me get out of your way, buddy. Big adjustable guy, huh? Big adjustable guy. What if I'm doing it wrong? What if it's right hand thre thread or? Dude. Imagine that. <laughs> That's really that. tight, huh? You got some good leverage too. Okay, that's good. I like that. Do you think it's gonna squirt at us? Or you don't think there's any pressure? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I th- I don't think it's r- it's bad though. I feel like my truck would have been broke by now. You know. I feel like we kind of got away. You know. I hope. I think we did. To be honest. Why are you smelling that? You know what's what it is. I'm just smelling it. <laughs> Maybe you put gasoline in it. Dude. You know. I think that's just what what happens. You just end up smelling stuff. You like the smell of diesel? I hate it necessarily like it but it i don't know diesel recently just doesn't smell like it used to i, I think it stinks <laughs> does it look okay i mean it, it looks reasonable is there any metal at all well so this normally this thing will like rust if you get like water in it and there's no rust but, like and i feel like you would see like metal shavings and all that stuff right there too so put right. your finger in here is there any oh dude we're men dude i think we're all good what do you see in there? I mean, nothing concerning, like right away. So Justin was saying he thinks that there's a sensor down here that's melted. Can I get that flashlight? Because they get clogged and it like heats it up or something. I don't know. He explained it good. Mm-hmm. But he said he had the same problem I had. And there was a sensor on the CP4 pump that melts and will throw those codes. And it's not melted. So yeah, that sensor's not here. That sensor, I'm pretty sure that's the sensor he was talking about right there. Because the CP4 is right here, yeah? Look at the phone. That's mm-hmm. the CP4. Yeah. And that sensor is not melted. What? Oh, God, what the... F- dude! You got a There's in dead it? shit in there, dude! What is that? Is that a turkey? It's definitely a little nest of some sort. Dude, someone's been living in my fucking truck and not even paying me rent. Motherfuckers. They couldn't even give me gas money? I bet you it's nice and warm in there. Why is this? Oh, it's so rotted, dude. This thing's junk. Oh, there's a turbo. Look at that fucking thing. Yeah, these little eight mils are going to be scary, huh? We're looking good. I think you squeaked by. Yeah, I think we're looking good. I think you squeaked by. I think if we would like if we would have opened that and there would have been some concern, then we then then you would have known that you would have had to drop some coin on some injectors. Especially now that we have that DCR pump, too. I'm really excited. I think the DCR pump is the, the way to go. Yeah, definitely. Because now we're now we're both just gonna be cruising down the highway. No worries. No worries. No worries at all. So, all right, we're gonna um, pick this up in the morning because it's getting a little late. But we're gonna start pulling this thing apart tomorrow morning and just digging deeper because we're gonna have to get to that CP4 which is super fun. All right, boys. Well, I think we're going to end the video right here. My friend Justin is coming here actually tonight, and I'm super excited. He's going to help me do the CP4 pump to the DCR pump and everything, and I am super stoked. I haven't seen Justin in a few years, and he helped me a lot when I was moving from Florida to Connecticut. We became pretty good friends, so definitely excited to see him. Definitely excited to get a lot of progress for you guys on this truck, and I'm just excited to drive this thing for the first time with new wheels, with a new bed, bed lined, everything. It's gonna be absolutely killer and I'm super excited. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, peace out.